Welcome to our video on the Japanese philosophy of the way of tea, also known as chanoyu or sado. The way of tea is a traditional Japanese art that involves preparing and serving tea to guests in a formal ceremony. But it's much more than just making a cup of tea. It's a deeply spiritual and cultural practice that embodies many Japanese values and philosophies. The way of tea is said to have originated in Japan in the 16th century and was developed by the tea master Sin no Rikyu. It involves a set of rituals and customs that are meant to create a harmonious and serene atmosphere for the guests. Every aspect of the ceremony is carefully planned and executed, from the way the tea is prepared to the way the guests are seated. One of the key elements of the way of tea is the preparation of matcha, a finely ground green tea. The tea is whisked vigorously with a bamboo whisk until it becomes frothy and smooth. The tea is then served to the guests in small bowls, which they drink from in a specific way. The act of receiving and drinking the tea is an important part of the ceremony. Guests are expected to appreciate the tea and the effort that went into its preparation. They should also be mindful of the surroundings and the other guests. The tea master, or chato practitioner, is responsible for creating an atmosphere of calm and tranquility. They must be knowledgeable about the tea and its preparation, as well as the etiquette and customs of the ceremony. They must also be able to adapt to any situation and make the guests feel comfortable. The way of tea is also closely tied to nature. The tea ceremony often takes place in a tea garden or tea house, which is designed to create a sense of harmony with the natural surroundings. The garden is often simple and minimalist, with rocks, plants, and water features used to create a peaceful and meditative environment. Tea ceremonies are very important in Japanese culture, and the way of tea is all about balancing the concepts of conversations, traditions, and learning. The way of tea is about sharing knowledge with fellow humans, and is regarded by the Japanese almost as a spiritual practice. The four principles of Japanese tea practice are harmony, respect, purity and tranquility, aiming to awaken the senses and unite the mind and body. There's nothing better than taking some time out for yourself, and although you may not have time to indulge in a full tea ceremony, having a cup at after work can sometimes be enough. The ceremony is a way of connecting with others and with nature, and of finding peace and tranquility in a busy and chaotic world. Wabi-sabi plays an important role in this philosophy. Wabi-sabi is translated as finding the beauty in imperfection, but it is not a true understanding of wabi-sabi. The beauty of wabi-sabi is born from our inner world. The inner world which we created during the tea ceremony to I in a space of acceptance, where there is no judgment. There is no perfection or imperfection, there is no past or future. There is no beauty or ugliness, there is no right or wrong, there is no name or title, in the space of now, we hold nothing. Just pure self, our essence, everything is as it is. In this quiet peaceful space within, we embrace sheer joy. Beauty in the silence, where the truth is. The aesthetics and definition of wabi-sabi is the state of our mind that is at point zero, void, free from conceptual thought and judgment and enables us to embrace and cherish all as it is. In the eyes of wabi-sabi, there is no imperfect or perfect. Only the truth exists. We hope you've enjoyed learning about the Japanese philosophy of the way of tea. If you're ever given the opportunity to participate in a tea ceremony, we highly recommend it. It's a truly unique and memorable experience that will give you a deeper appreciation for Japanese culture and the beauty of nature. Thank you for watching.